And right after halftime, let's secure this lead here. Here we go, 54th minute. What can we make happen? Travis, what our chance? Taking a shot from deep, and James Wayne scores a beauty. That might be the best goal we've scored for Real Madrid all season long. Look at this. Controls it with his chest, puts it back on the ground, takes a powerful strike from distance, and slots it top left corner. Look at the angle on that one. Who else but James Wayne? I decided it's time for me to go on my own path me to be my own football player and not follow my brother's footsteps anymore hopefully I'm making the right decision but I guess only time will tell did you see like a, like a, a switch in his mindset to go from wanting to do tricks and out wide and maybe not being as effective to being this ruthless goal machine I'm saying some kids at that age would have we gone under, gone under. He, he never complied with the defensive structure of the team so actually you were tolerating him from a defensive point of view and an attacking point of view he was erratic he is willing to take risks and he has become a leader and like you say that transformation his, his character is completely different as well not just his performance so he went from being somebody who was frustrating to someone who's absolutely exceptional but he's got pride and he's got uh, like I go back to all the time, an obsessiveness of being the best. And listen, he came as a kid, left him the best player in the world. Apparently, a clip of me skydiving on a beach has went viral. And right now, I'm just checking the internet, seeing everything that everybody's saying. It seems to be all positive. People seem to like who I am and what I'm doing. But then I hear the phone ring. And I gotta go check it out to see who it is. As I answer the phone, the call ID said it's from the Real Madrid headquarters. And they told me they need to see me immediately. So of course, we gotta make a trip. As I'm heading up to the office, I'm wondering what could this be about? Normally they would let me know, send me an email, but they wanted to have a meeting as soon as possible. Apparently the executives at Real Madrid were not happy with my extracurricular activities. They said it's becoming quite a distraction and I'm making too much of an uproar. And I'm also one strike away from breaching my contract with Real Madrid. I didn't think what I was doing was that big of a deal, but apparently to them, they're not having it. So welcome back everybody. This is episode six of James Wayne's Career Mode. If you are new here, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, and make sure you press that bell notification so you'll never miss a video. Let's go ahead and show you what games we're getting into. Today we're gonna to try to finish the month of February here. We got about five games to go till we finish this month of February. Here are the top scores out of the Copa de España, which we have me and Modric leading in goals. And here in the La Liga, we have Munir, Griezmann, and of course, James Wayne at third with 14 goals in 18 matches. Benzema right behind us. But let's go ahead and get to the match. We have Sevilla with the first match of the Copa de España. Remember, they do have the leading scorer in the league and Munir playing on the left wing. We are playing on the right wing in the false nine. Let's go ahead and get into it. 
I appreciate you guys for the continual support of the channel and the videos. Go ahead, go ahead, hit that like button so we can, you know, quit our job and make videos all day. But just kidding, let's go ahead and get into this game here against Sevilla. As you see James Wayne walking out, here are our match objectives today. We have to get a match rating of at least an 8.5, avoid losing the match, and get a pass success rate of 75%. Now, I think I'm going to not focus on the match objectives as much going forward, but just for this game, we'll try to go ahead and complete them. But here we go. In the sixth minute of the game, what can we make happen? Doing some skill moves, playing it down to the left side of the field, looking for an opening for ourselves, getting past one defender. Probably should have played it into the middle, but we take a shot and we score the first goal of the game in the eighth minute. A powerful strike from James Wayne. He might be distracting off the pitch, but on the field, he is the most spectacular guy to look at. Just a powerful strike. Curving it into the right side, getting past the goalkeeper. What a way for James Wayne to start the game off. As you see, Sevilla's manager is upset, and that makes it five goals in four matches in the Copa de España for James Wayne. Can we continue that? Taking the one nil lead, but here comes Sevilla back on the attack in the box. But of course, Courtois with his legendary saves as he did in the Champions League final comes up big. But here we go in the 32nd minute of the game. As you see, we are getting fouled and this foul will result in a red card for Munir who is the leading scorer in the league. So having him out of the game is going to be crucial for our success. Here we go. 51st minute. What can we make happen? James Wayne going down the left side of the field. Playing it into Benzema. Benzema playing it back to me. Playing it to Federico Valverde. Taking a shot from distance. I think that was Tony Cruz. Here we go. 68th minute. Sevilla looking dangerous inside the box. And they get a goal which ties up the game. Late here in the game. What? Can we make happen? Playing the ball into the left side. I believe that is Federico Valverde to take the lead here for Real Madrid as we do get a win in our first game here against Sevilla. One goal scored for James Wayne, the other scored by Federico Valverde, but we advance in the Copa de España. We're going to go ahead and move it on to the next game here against Villarreal. It is an away game. Away games are tough. Villarreal is not a pushover, but as James Wayne, we must, we must continue our our hot streak. We must continue our success. And here we go. Villarreal coming out in the 13th minute. Courtois making a deflection, but then they get the luck of the century right here. Courtois usually does not miss these. But it's classed as an own goal, meaning it came off Daniel Carvajal as Villarreal do take a 1-0 lead. We have to make a comeback here. Here comes James Wayne coming down the middle of the field, taking a shot from distance. Goalkeeper saves that. Here we go, 46 minutes. See what we can make happen. Playing it down the left side of the field to Arsencio. Looking to call for it back. What can we make happen as we miss wide right? But you can never give up. Our Real Madrid team never gives up. Here we go. 52nd minute playing it into Benzema. Benzema gets the goal to tie the game. And since he wants to turn up, you know we have to turn up as well. We're trying to find our goal. Looking for a little bit of space. Playing it down to the right side of the field. Benzema playing it into me. As we do a little stutter, ball gets deflected. But we will have another chance. Benzema playing it back into me. And we take the leading goal here in the 62nd minute. James Wayne, you already know his name, shows up when you need him. Not a distraction on the field. More like excitement on the field as we get the win here with a comeback in the second half. First goal to Benzema, second goal to James Wayne. Who else for Real Madrid? Here we go. 
in the third game. We've scored four goals in the last three games. James Wayne is on fire here. Can we continue the success in this game? I know I always say that, but these games are hard. I'm playing on legendary difficulty, and as you see, we don't always get the easiest chance to score. Here we go. Ninth minute, taking a shot. And the problem with this game, you'll see me struggle so much as this shot gets deflected. Another opportunity here in the box. As you see, we can't capitalize on this. Another opportunity, 31st minute, in the box, gets deflected. 35th minute, another opportunity here, takes a shot. Probably the best opportunity we had. And the frustration from James Wayne is visible here. 44th minute, the away team comes and scores with ease. And as much as we've been struggling, they score with ease. As you see, James Wayne is just having a frustrating day. 49th minute, what can we make happen right after halftime? Right in the middle of the box, turns and shoot, and the goalkeeper saves that one. See what I'm saying? It is not easy. 88th minute, we get a little bit of luck here as we get fouled inside the box, which leads to a penalty. Question is, can we capitalize to at least not lose? Benzema steps up, takes it, slots it in the bottom right corner, which saves us from a loss. The least we could do is tie it up, and that's what happens here as we get a one to one draw. Real Madrid fans did not seem happy, but here we go in our Champion League game. We had a bad showing last game. We got to turn it back up. We got to turn it back up here in the Champions League. Here we go, 14th minute. What can we make happen? Look at the defense here. They're trying to make sure James Wayne does not score, and they're doing a great job of it. I have four defenders on me at all times, and I just can't make anything happen. That is until the 44th minute of the game as we get a ball played by Benzema, and we score the first goal of the game. You could try to contain him, but he's going to get free eventually. James Wayne with the first goal of the game. Always in the box right where you need him. Staying onside. Right under the goalkeeper's arm. Way to take the lead here. As James Wayne shows up big for Real Madrid. That, that is three goals in five Champions League matches. As you see, he's got his confidence back up. What can we make happen right after halftime? Let's secure this lead here. Here we go, 54th minute. What can we make happen? Trapping with our chest, taking a shot from deep, and James Wayne scores a beauty. That might be the best goal we've scored for Real Madrid all season long. Look at this, controls it with his chest, puts it back on the ground, takes a powerful strike from distance and slots it top left corner look at the angle on that one who else but James Wayne you already know his name we take a 2 nil lead here can we get the hat trick look at the moves here by James Wayne playing it in to Benzema Benzema playing it back and he takes a shot we can't convert can we get that hat trick, 70th minute, Tony Cruz, I think, no, that's Benzema, Benzema playing it to me, and I try to volley it, and I just could not hit the target. Slightly off to the left there, but that was our chance to get the hat trick. We couldn't get the hat trick, but we do get the brace here, and the win in the Champions League there. You know, we're back on track, right where we should be. And here we go. And the last game of the episode. James Wayne has had a great episode here so far. Had a great four games so far. Can we capitalize? At least with the goal in the last game. 23rd minute here. Looking for some space. Playing it into the middle. Playing it back to me. What can we make happen? Look at the skill moves and control by James Wayne. But of course it gets deflected. Arsencio with the putback. Scores the first goal of the game to take the lead. 
but can we get ours? Here we go with the header. I don't think we scored a header before yet. At least not this season. But we're going to keep trying here as we do get fouled here in the 41st minute. And that becomes a theme here in this game. It seems like they try to take me out. But here we go with an opportunity to score. But the defense is too much once again for defenders here. And we're going to lose the ball here. 56 minute. As you see, another foul. And James Wayne has just had enough. He just had enough. He just now determined to score. 58th minute. All that fouling leads to this. You're going to foul James Wayne, but he's going to show you his name. He comes up with his first goal of the game. Takes a 2-0 lead. That's what happens. You make him mad, he makes you look bad. Perfect shot aimed at the bottom left goalkeeper couldn't reach it and that's gonna do it for that game we almost scored in every game in the episode we missed a few games like I said it's on legendary difficulty so I can't always score I can't always have the best performances but we do our best there and that's gonna do it for this episode I appreciate I appreciate you guys for watching Stay tuned for the next episode. It should be Jordan Wayne's. You know, it might be a little late of an episode. You know, been a little busy. But like I said, I appreciate the likes. I appreciate the support. You know, you guys have a blessed day. And peace.